News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. News 46 is also brought to you by Humana, serving the community. Please stop in at 1397 South Loop Road on the corner of Loop and Highway 160. Tonight on News 46, the county commission reinstates a brothel license and a crash sends one person to the hospital. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. The Love Ranch has its license back. It's Friday, March 16th. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. The Board of County Commissioners has decided to give brothel owner Dennis Hoff some more time to get the Love Ranch brothel located in Crystal, Nevada, in compliance with Nye County Code. The Love Ranch had its license suspended for various violations that had not been addressed since August of last year, according to Nye County. Vice Chair of the Liquor License Board and Board of County Commissioner Chairman John Koenig commented on possible criminal charges against Hoff and Assistant Zach Haynes who they say lied under oath to the commission during the recent show cause hearing. Commissioner Wickman also wants to have a question on the November ballot for or against legal prostitution here in Nye County. The county commissioners had a special hearing today in their chambers, which ended in a heated argument during public comment. As far as I know, the comment was made by Mr. Reisman and Mr. Hoff, and I believe Mr. Zach that you had a agreement with the BLM for the signs. As far as I know, we do not have the BLM agreement with the BLM for signs. So that's going to be in there also. On advice of counsel, I've been told that that should be treated as a criminal matter to be handled by somebody else. So I'm not going to address it. And I want a monthly status report where you are the planning. So we know that you're actually doing something and we're not waiting till the end to I don't want to come back here. I want this done. I don't really don't want to come back here. If you don't comply, it's not going to be pretty. This is bad enough. And I understand all that. But I want to get through this. There are issues, whether real or perceived, I want to get through it. So that's my motion. So all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Nay. Passes two to one. There you are. They want, they're trying to close me down for all these things, but they're the wrong things. They, 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 signs. Today, they're talking about signs, three signs that are a half a mile from me that aren't even involved with the Love Ranch business. Not even involved. There's nothing to do with them. But they're using that as a reason to close me down. It's all going to come out. I think it's a conspiracy. It, I think it's a conspiracy, and I think we can prove it. And when we do, Tom Gibson will have a field day uh, with these people that have done this damage to me. 30 days to do the, the list of fire marshal wants, and 90 days to get things through the planning commission to, to re take these two lots and make them one, okay, uh, and, and to remove uh, the right of ways to go through the proper. Uh, it's just, it's a simple process. It just takes time. Is but that I doable? It, it, oh, it's, it's easily doable. Uh, John Koenig will watch the process. He understands it. He's a smart guy that was on the planning board. Uh, Donna Cox is amazing. Mm -hmm. She stands up for the right, for the right side of everything, and I, I, I just think she's just a wonderful commissioner, an example, and I hope we elect more people like her. You're opening up as of today? We're open up right now, and I think everybody should come out and support the place. Even if you don't want to be in the bedrooms, get in there and, and, and come in and have a drink, a soda, a cup of coffee, and, and pat us on the back for, for fighting the system. That the operation may not be conducted until those everything is complied with. I can't decide, oh, well, gee, Dennis Hoff is a good guy. I guess I'll let it go. 
that's not the oath I took. And I only have one other question I'd like to ask. With all of the promotion and the support that Mr. Hoff is getting from Don Cox and Donna Cox, why the hell was there no recusal? Why the hell was there no disclosure? You expect our other commissioners to, up, to stand by those laws, to uphold that integrity, and yet nobody throws a fit. They're all so good at what they do. They've already mentioned that they got to spend the night in the VIP room, and they were fed breakfast the next morning. You don't Are think you that's kidding me? Off? You can stop right there. That's a lie. You show me on that's record anywhere that's where true. I said that. Enough. Your husband said that. He did not. That's enough. Yes, he did. You're a liar. You invited us. Enough. You are a liar. This is, this is public comment. I'm sorry. You're a liar. Enough. John. Enough. The only thing I have ever done is that Hofstra took an inspection last week. Done. Had nothing to do with that. That's it. And a two-car crash occurred last night on Highway 372 and Linda Street. One elderly man was arrested last night on Highway 372 just east of Linda Street, the result of a DUI accident allegedly caused by him. Nye County Sheriff's deputies, Nevada Highway Patrol, and Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue all arrived on scene. One person inside the red pickup truck was transported by ground ambulance to Desert View Hospital with injuries sustained as a result of this collision. No other occupants claimed any injury at the time of the crash. Traffic was diverted around the collision while Nevada Highway Patrol conducted the accident investigation. Well, Danny Tarkanian has decided that he will run for Congress instead of Senate. The reason why? Because President Donald Trump requested it. Trump has put his support behind U.S. Senator Dean Heller to retain his seat. Trump asked that Heller run unopposed. Tarkanian has now said that he will run for Nevada's 3rd Congressional District. We'll have your business first brief and your court report right after this.